Hi everyone, it's Rio Cloud Sync. In today's session, we'll look at Microsoft Applied Skills. We're all very much used to the legacy certifications, ranging from fundamentals, associate, expert, which have tested our broad knowledge across all the different Microsoft solutions. Microsoft has now introduced Microsoft Applied Skills, a new way of demonstrating your skill sets through certifications. You can open up learn.microsoft.com, which will take you to the MS Learn modules, as well as being able to browse the credentials. As and when you click browse credentials, it will bring you to this page in which you can scroll down and you can see the filter for credential type, applied skills. This will list all the different applied skills certifications you can now achieve. These certifications will allow you to focus on your individual skill set uh, or a business problem or a or pretty much a challenge your business is facing. It will allow you to earn a credential by passing an online or on-demand assessment in a isolated lab environment, which is open book. It will also elevate your networking as well as your professional profile. If we click into one of these applied skills certifications, i.e. let's click and build an Azure AI vision solution, we've now got an option to take the assessment. Great. If we scroll down at a glance, we can see the level of this applied skill. This one in particular is intermediate or AI. The roles in which it's relevant to, the product set, as well as the subject, artificial intelligence. Funny enough, I've clicked this one. AI is a massive drive at, the, at this point in time within Microsoft, with Azure OpenAI, as well as Microsoft 365 Copilot. We've then got an, an overview of the applied skill certification, as well as the tasks performed within the isolated lab environments, as well as the associated learn modules for you to prepare yourself to take the applied skill certification. And then you've got the option once again to take the assessment and the language associated with this applied skill. So what's the key highlights? What differentiates the applied skills over the legacy certifications? Well, one of the key highlights is these applied skills have no associated cost. Unlike the legacy certifications where it's uh, ranging from $69 to, to $160, um, these applied skills are no cost. The assessment is also web-based in which, in which you can, it's, it's open book. Um, you have a solid time frame of two hours to, to take the, the skills. Uh, assessment. Um, on average, I'm, 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 I've noticed people finishing these assessments in around 30 to 45 minutes. So two hours is is a great amount of time to be able to to complete these uh, applied skill assessments. They're very specific in terms of the skill set. Maybe you want to attest your your knowledge on a particular area within a solution, and you're able to retake these assessments. Of course, if you pass, great. If you fail, you can retake this after three, three, uh, three days. Other than that, this was just a quick highlight on what um, the applied skills uh, assessments are, um, kind of the key highlights of the, 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 the credential itself and how it differentiates between the legacy certifications and uh, the, yeah, the, the applied skills certifications. Um, other than that, I did post a... Uh, uh, a post on the key highlights as well and the different and, and how it differentiates between the legacy certs um, in which you can take on your own on your own terms any other questions please do let me know but this was just a quick video to, to highlight this new change um, as well as microsoft making the legacy certifications open book per se uh, being able to use the microsoft uh, learn uh, modules within the, the certifications itself for any role-based exams thank you very much any questions just let me know